the next thing that I want to show you is how you can sort a uh, collection. And uh, sometimes this uh, goes hand to hand with pagination and I am going to show, show you why. So first thing, uh, I'm going to just for simplicity, I'm going to just do node article and only select the title. So I'm going to click send and I should get a list of 50 titles. Uh, yeah, so I get Capto Kogo and Cementum Accusum. So uh, I'm going to, I want to get a list of articles because that's what I want to display in my front end application um, or, uh, or whatever you're building. Uh, maybe it doesn't even have a display like an Alexa app, right? Um, so what I want to do is, uh, regarding of a display or not, show a list of articles sorted by title. So the way to do this is, uh, and I'm gonna head over to the JSON, JSON API. Yes. Oh, come on, JSON API dot org specification, and uh, I'm gonna find sort sorting. And uh, what it says is that what you need to use is um, mm -hmm. let's go down to to here. Uh, it is some. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, I couldn't find it. Uh, you need to use the sort query string parameter. Um, I knew that you need to use the sorry question par parameter, but I wanted to show you how this specification says so. So um, what I'm going to do is sort by title, and because title is the name of the attribute, and that should be it. Um, next thing that you will see is a list of 50 articles sorted by title. So we should see the A's first, um, and uh, enough we get. A's first, Ebdo, Abdo, Ilum, Biko. So uh, that doesn't really work. Uh, if we want to do it in reverse order, specification tells you to add a minus in front of it, and uh, probably can find that uh, somewhere um, here. Minus, uh, and also you can uh, add secondary sorting. Parameters. So first uh, sort by one property, and then in case of uh, two entities having the same value for the first sorting parameter, sort by a second parameter between them. Um, and you do that, that by separating by a comma. Uh, so in our example, I'm going to just uh, add a minus in front of the title, and we're going to see how uh, we have uh, descending order with the names and we get V, V, P and we get uh, everything sorted. So uh, typically this is very useful if you want to, uh, let's say, uh, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to uh, click send. Uh, if you want to get the last article, what you want to do is you want to sort by the created date. So I'm going to sort by the created date. And I want uh, the, the biggest one first. So I'm going to sort in descending order. And I'm going to do pagination. But I want to, oops, to get only one back. So if I do this, uh, what I'm going to get is the the article that has a biggest created date, uh, which means that we get the new we get the newest article in in the site, uh, and that article happens to be uh, this one, an ID two four nine five, and if we go over here and we go back to the site to the front page to the front page, uh, which lists all of the articles, uh, you can see down here in the bottom left that this article is 24 
0.95. So um, yeah, that that works and that is uh, very useful uh, when you want to get uh, things like, uh, like I said, the the latest article, or you could do this with uh, in combination of uh, with a pagination object. You could do this to get exactly the results that you need.